Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have got something um, super different for you today. So on my team page, in my team group on Facebook, every Tuesday it's Teammate Tuesday and I feature a different teammate and ask them to share a little bit about what works for them in their business and a little bit about themselves. And one of these previous Tuesdays, I had Camden Jackson. Camden is on my team. And when I asked her a prompting question in the comments of her live while she was talking to my team, she proceeded to kind of spill her heart out and tell a lot about her posh story and what a difference posh has made into her life. And I was just so moved by it that I really wanted to share it with you guys. So I screen recorded it and I've got little snippets of it to share with you. And so I really hope that you enjoy hearing Camden's story um, as she tells it. She gets a little emotional and honestly, like it's anyway. I could talk forever, but I'll let you watch Camden's story. I want to thank Camden so much for sharing her story. And if you could join me, just hit that thumbs up button right now so we can give her a little bit of love. And here she is. Hey, Fred, I got this beautiful house. I have two beautiful, healthy children. I had a full-time job. I had a husband, my dog. Like, should have been freaking golden, you know? But I, I literally would wake up and I would be thinking about my nap during that day. So I was just, there wasn't anything, it was like every day I was just trying to survive it. And I felt really horrible about that because I should be on cloud nine, right? I'm the luckiest girl in the whole world, right? <clears throat> and it was just kind of how my life was. I didn't realize how awful that was. <clears throat> um, but after I got that kit, <laughs> it sounds so stupid, it sounds cliche. Um, but I do bring this up at parties every once in a while because it's just, like, it, it's real. It sounds dumb, but it's real. Um, I got that box and I shared it with my sister-in-law and, um, played with stuff, you know, got the kids to bed, read them stories, got myself to bed. I woke up the next day, was thinking about my nap, got the kids ready for school and their lives and got to work. Um... And I would get home at like 2, and my husband would leave at 2.30 to go to work. So I had like maybe like 20 minutes to just like crash and shut my brain off. And that was my, my nap. That was my escape. That was my moment where I could just be, and I didn't have to put on that heavy mask all the time. Um, and that first day... I was laying there and I was thinking about all the different people that I wanted to share this stuff with. And I didn't sleep. And I got up and I, like, I had a notebook right by my bed of all the people that I wanted to share this with. And I got up and I made samples and I called people and I had them come over and sniff the box. And the next day, you know, I should have been really even more tired because I stayed up late planning and plotting and. I went to go lay down and I couldn't, like I couldn't shut my brain off. I was just so, I was so excited. <laughs> stupid. It's just like, it sounds stupid to say out loud, but it's so true, you guys. I just, I, it just really made me feel good. <laughs> Damn it, Jessica. <clears throat> oh, but it, it made me feel good. It made me feel really good. And just a silly little hand cream, you know, in just a couple minutes to myself. Um, but I realized that when I shared it with other people, they were feeling the same way. And when my sister-in-law got her kit, she felt the same way. There was a girl, I was doing a Facebook party, and she messaged me, she was pregnant, and she couldn't afford to do anything, so I sent her a lot of samples. And then I was looking through um, my... <coughs> my folder I keep track of all the samples I keep track of all the party everything um, I keep track of people's addresses even though even if they didn't buy anything you know this person got samples this person you know I make little notes and I just happened to message her like out of the blue and she's like you know what I was just thinking about you it was god jeez you guys it was like a year and a half later and she remembered me she remembered how she felt when I sent her that stuff and we talked and she wanted to know um, a few suggestions on what to buy. And 
you know, I chatted with her about her skin type because it did change after she had babies. You know, you, hormones mess everything up. You don't really want to get someone involved in a routine while they're pregnant or nursing because their body's just going to freak out. Everything's going to change. So I was talking to her and I told her a lot about my story and she just like lost it. You know, she just, she completely lost herself. <clears throat> you change a lot, you know. I was a strong, beautiful, awesome, independent person and then I got married and I changed. I had kids and I changed. I started different jobs, I did different things, I had to make a lot of sacrifices and I changed. And I'm not saying that I was a terrible person or I didn't like who I was, but I didn't know who I was. <laughs> so I can relate to a lot of people. I'm very relatable. And that's why I don't mind. I used to be super embarrassed and I would get really pumped up. Jessica, you know how many times I... You saw me on stage shaking my ass. <laughs> like, I, I didn't even wear shoes when I went on stage. I was shaking so hard. But I've learned to just quit trying to hide that that part of me, you know, because I am I'm a person, and I'm relatable, you know, we all feel that way people that don't have babies like, come on, you're not the same person that you were when you were nine, or when you were a teenager guys that are in this business like, you change too, your lives have changed a lot <clears throat> it's just, it's important to figure out who the hell you are, you know, and what makes you feel good now that you made me cry, Jessica, <laughs> thank you for bringing that out. It's good to remember. Come a long way, girlfriend. <clears throat> Big difference. Big difference is that I have zero selfies of myself and my children. When I had them at the hospital, you know, there's that cute picture of the mother lovingly looking down at her kid. I didn't take pictures of myself because all I saw were my scars. I saw all my imperfections and I missed out on a lot of that. But I'm taking pictures of myself and my babies. And the smile is genuine. And that is something that didn't happen before. And I honestly, um, throughout my life, I always thought that women were just really catty and really nasty. And I always thought that I didn't like women. And I only had guy friends and I realized throughout this company that it's not that I don't like women I was just hanging out with the wrong ones so it's really really wonderful to find my people I'm not saying I get along with everybody because some people you know you just don't click with but I have had a lot of fun with a lot of you a lot of you and I really am blessed I just feel very lucky that I found this when I did I really feel like it saved me. <laughs> it gave me the balls to get out of a really abusive, really nasty situation. I would have never been able to do that before. So, good stuff. Lots of good things. Isn't it crazy how freaking powerful such a simple story can be? And what a difference, like, Posh has made in her life, not even just the products, but the business and the connections and the network of support. And it's really, it gave her the strength to make changes in her life that she may have not otherwise ever had the strength to make. Um, I want to thank Camden so much for sharing her story with my team and now with the world. <laughs> thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Um, and I hope to bring you more videos like this if I can get some more people to <laughs> spill their souls out on to a live. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope that you enjoyed Camden's story as much as I did. Um, be sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Thanks so much.